All right, so guys, Strategic Mind Fight for Dominance official Xbox gameplay trailer. It's a great video. I say gameplay. Oh, sorry, game pay. <laughs> I can't read. All right, let's go. No audio? Oh, there's audio. Okay. 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 Oh, I thought that was what's his name. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, the B.A. This music is killing right now. Use your uh, HQ unique perks to gain a... I, I couldn't read the rest of that. Okay, so it's kind of like a war type of... Okay. I understood that from the beginning, but okay. Lead Germany to the ultimate victory and strategic mind blitz crack. I've heard of that before, the whole, the blitz thing. Ooh, okay, all types of animations. Okay, they're, they're giving us uh, or established work, uh, uh, com, uh, communists, and okay, I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> can't read. <laughs> Oh man, well I can't read bro, it's just, it's too fast bro, I can't. All right, explore the real and alternate histories. Come on now, I read that. Let's be loud for no reason. Uh oh, they dropping bombs on their head. World War II strategic and tactics, okay. 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 I'll be real. Uh, July 20th. Okay, July 20th is in like two days. Okay. Here's what I say, right? I'll be real. This isn't really my type of game. Um, and I'm not just saying that because, I, you know, I've been playing a lot more um, fast-paced games and stuff like that, like all my life. It's just a game like this, it really isn't my type of, you know, cup of tea. Even, bro, the apps, listen. I don't want to like make fun of like anybody, but I play like a lot of, you know, um, less energetic or just, uh, I played a lot of calming games before, right? I'm talking about like, bro, I, like, bro, if you want to bring it back to the like old days, like room, like runescape, I used to play, uh, run to on the computer. I used to play, what else I used to play? I used to play, uh, what was it? Uh, pizzeria, Papa, Papa's pizzeria. Like, I used to play like boring games back then. Right. And so like, well, at the time those games were fun. Uh, looking back at it, those games were fun. So let me not just say they're boring. But um, but listen, one thing I want to say is this really isn't my type of game. You know, I'll keep it real. You know, it isn't my cup of tea. The whole war game thing, I'll be real. The only war game that I've ever liked, I mean, I guess was Call of Duty. <laughs> I mean, I grew up on Call of Duty. It was a whole war thing. You know, I, I guess you could just say that that was the only war. Oh, no, I'm lying. Oh my God! It was a game uh, from the Nintendo 64. It was called uh, Army. It was like the it was like the Green Army Man. That was the first war game that I've ever liked, and that was before Call of Duty. So I'm lying. Um, but whenever it comes to a game like this, you know, I, I'll always keep it real. You know, a game like this isn't really my cup of tea, um, and that's just because of just like I never really played games like this. I've seen hundreds, maybe thousands of games like this. Um, never really my type. Never really my type, man. Honestly, and that's just like that's not a knock at like the developers of this game. It's just you know, it wasn't really 
a game like this, it, like, you know, it's not really my type. And I guess, you know, I shouldn't really judge a cover by his book. But, you know, listen, we, we all do it. We all have our, um, you know, our favorites uh, whenever it comes to gaming, you know, whether it's FPS, ho like, you know, horror. I said horror. Um, horror or um, strategy games, puzzles, whatever. We all have our, our, you know, our favorites. So at the end of the day, you know, when it comes down to a game like this, it's not really... Um, too exciting for me i'll keep it real um but i can't lie one thing that i would you know one positive thing that i will leave was um there was like a few cut scenes in the game that looked really really well and um i can't lie for <laughs> i understand i've seen so many games that have amazing unreal engine top tier just bro you can see every pixel bro like top tier cut scenes and stuff like that and then the gameplay is this um which isn't a really a bad thing, but also it's not really a good thing for some people that, that don't play a game like this. Because when we see, you know, these beautiful cutscenes, you know, um, and, and we're very excited. We're like, oh, snap, let's get to the gameplay. Let's see what the gameplay's about. And then you show us this right here, right? And, you know, to people that are not interested in this, they're going to think like, oh, okay, like, what is this? Like, you know, like, what is this, you know? And at the end of the day, I know I sound biased right now. That's why I'm trying to, like, come from a person that likes, you know, games like this. You know, if you like games like this, then it's a win-win. You know, you'll have Ultra 4K, uh, sorry, not 4K, Ultra 16K uh, graphic cinematic movie cutscenes. And you'll have gameplay, you know, that you like. So it's a win-win for you. For me, um, a person that don't really like these, you know, type of games, you know, it's not really my cup of tea. Um, and at the end of the day, I don't want to disrespect nobody. It's just, it's not my, my type of game. But if you guys do like this game, comment down below. What do you guys like about the game? I'll see you guys later for the next time I'm out. And 